If they asked me, I could write a book about the way you walk and whisper and look. Joining us now on our book talk segment, great to welcome a woman who's uh, written a funny book. It's called Do I Have to Say Hello? Aunt Delia's Manners Quiz, but you've also seen her work on the big screen and uh, also on Broadway and, and other books as well. We're joined today by Delia Efron from up in New York City. And Delia, good to talk with you. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing great. Good to have a chance to to talk with you for for a few minutes. Before we, we talk about the book, I, I did want to say, uh, I know you uh, wrote You've Got Mail a few years ago, Tom Hanks and uh, Meg Ryan, one of my favorite movies. So I wanted to tell you that right off the bat. Oh, thank you so much. I, I Gosh, I, thank you. That means a lot to me. I love that movie, too, I have to say. makes me happy. They have that, uh, I think they made three or four movies together. They have that great chemistry, kind of like Spencer Tracy and Catherine Hepburn. That, that's that type, they, that couple. They sure did have chemistry. A throwback to the movies of the 40s, uh, romantic comedy, but uh, up to date because it used Internet as opposed to uh, writing letters. Through the yes, it's, it was really <laughs> based on um, an earlier Jimmy Stewart movie. Right. Uh, Little Shop Around the Corner. And Shop Around the Corner. Yeah. And then we upgraded it because once we had we had email, we had a reason to do it differently. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about, about the book. Now, this is kind of based on uh, a book you wrote uh, a while ago, right? Do I Have to Say Hello, Aunt Delia's Manners? Yeah, uh, Do I Have to Say Hello, Aunt Delia's Manners quiz. And I published it originally in about 89. And it's always been one of my favorites. Uh, and it always had really, even though it's out of print, it had these wonderful Amazon reviews and even from librarians and we really do love librarians in this world because <laughs> they are so important and I you know I realized that it was time to upgrade update it because the, the world has changed so much no question uh, not only in the last 25 years but the last five years it, it, it's exponentially changing seems to quicker than even when I yeah, was yeah it's kid. unbelievable <laughs> and and things that Matter in '89. Well, I mean, just the simplest thing like mucus became snot. Okay, <laughs> when I redid the book, but but actually things like telephone manners. I mean, we don't need to teach children to answer the family phone anymore. They don't need to learn to take messages at home. So the phone chapter just went right out. And then soccer was not really big in this world, in if, you know, not in the United States in '89. And now it's what all the kids play, and the behavior on the court of both parents, I mean, in the, on the, if, you know, on the sidelines with the parents, it's unbelievable. There's, I mean, that is for both parents and the kids. I've heard it's terrible. I, I've, I haven't seen that, but yeah, I've it heard is. So stories. I had to put a soccer. <laughs> I had to do soccer manners, and I had to do video game manners, which is also a whole new world. Well, I know uh, it's intended to be a, a amusing book, but but you have a, a great point in there. Manners seem to have gone uh, gone away in in most cases. You just deal with people every day, and it seems like they're, they're not taught that as kids. Uh, have you found that? <laughs> Yeah, well, I think the thing about do I have to say hello, I mean, do you have to look someone in the eye and say hello? Yes, you still do. You cannot mumble high and pick, pick your nose, you know. <laughs> so um, I, I felt that there are things that are still true, and they will be true forever. There are also new things that we have to deal with. I also think of manners in a more social way, which is that I, you know, there's stuff about, I mean, it's not called bullying, but it's like true or false. If a kid in your class is fat, is it okay to call him fat? So, like those kinds of questions. Mm -hmm. So that I'm trying to get at, if your friend falls down, do you say, you know, oh, don't cry, you're a big crybaby, or do you, like, help them up and be kind? I, I try to deal with all sorts of, you know, sort of kindness and compassion issues, not really things like, you know, which fork. But you do have a, a chapter on table manners, and, and that's important, too. But, yeah, there's, there's a lot of things you had to update. Yeah, the, table manners, I think, is really important. I mean, you cannot ask, you, you know, if you want the corn, you have to say, please pass the corn. You can't say, yo, corn. But, <laughs> so there is all, I cover all the base, you know, all the things that, oddly enough, haven't changed at all. Like holiday manners or birthday manners, the, the birthday girl is still a tyrant. In fact, the only thing I changed in that chapter was that, People don't really have birthday cakes anymore. They mostly have cupcakes. Is that right? So I changed. Yeah, so I changed the cake to cupcakes. I mean, I tr I went to schools um, nearby and I talked to the like third graders and about 
what they thought with their siblings about and what, what their mom said about their video games and just trying to bring the whole thing very up into the world that we're living in now, uh, but still keeping it really funny. You, you, you made a point before about phone manners and, and you don't have to answer the family phone anymore because everybody's got their own phone now in their pocket. So there, there is yeah. no family phone on a wall anymore, right? So that, that, that's gone out the window. That's well, right. The and kids really don't talk on the phone. They, they, text, they text each other. So they're not even yes. talking. <laughs> I know, I have texting in there um, yeah. as well because that's going on all the time now. I think that's part of the issue. Kids aren't talking, they're, they're writing so much, and then when you try and engage with them by talking, they just don't know how to do it. Not everybody, but I mean a lot. No, I think, I, I don't think there's any question that, you know, in a way we're battling a, a bigger battle now because a technology is so compelling. I mean, I love my telephone in this sort of sick way. Oh, I do too. <laughs> I, you know, it's always blinking little cute things at me, and I... I think that that's a real problem. Yeah, you and I, I hate it when I go out to dinner with a friend and they pull their phone out and check it under the table as if I haven't noticed. You know? <laughs> I was going to say, you and I grew up when we, you know, there was the dial phone on the wall. You didn't have it with you. And the technology is great now because we, we know what it used to be. But kids today don't know mm -hmm. that. And like you said, yeah, they're always looking at the phone. Uh, and no matter what they're doing, at the table or out, uh, it, it is different. Yes, it absolutely, it, it's really different. And I think we have to, in the most fun way, get kids socialized as young as we can because there are these temptations which are so powerful. No, no doubt about it. But who, who was Aunt Delia in case people uh, didn't see the first book uh, based on you, based on somebody you know, or totally made up? Oh, I am Aunt Delia. Um, <laughs> well, because I went to, you know, get my nephew and at the airport, and um, when I picked him up, he's, the first thing he said to me was, take me to the baseball card store. <laughs> so... On the way home in the car, I invented Aunt Delia's Manners Quiz, and I would ask him, you know, your Aunt Delia picks you up at the airport. What do you say? Do you do you burp? Do you say, um, hi, Aunt Delia, I'm so happy to see you, and give her a big hug? Or do you say, take me to the baseball card store? <laughs> and I had him laughing so hard by the time I got home that we just began to invent, I began to invent all sorts of historical manners questions with really rude answers as well as right answers. And you had some great uh, illustrations in the book as well. I think that Edward Corrin did that with you, right? He did a great Edward job. Edward Corrin, a New Yorker illustrator and cartoonist. I mean, he is just so funny. He's so funny. Did you uh, do the text first and, and send it to him to say, draw along, or did you kind of work together to collaborate on that? Actually, we, we did work together on this. We, that was our third book. This is our third collaboration. Mm -hmm. he, I think of him as my, um, I don't know, I guess my, uh, not my godparent, but the person who launched my career. Um, because I wrote How to Eat Like a Child, this little, uh, just a short article, and he gave it to the New York Times and illustrated it. And the next day... I got a contract for a book, wow. and it was the beginning of my career as a writer. And then he illustrated that book, and we had a huge bestseller, which was such a thrill. We both couldn't believe it. And so that my friendship goes back with him, you know, years and years and years. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's one of those books, like you mentioned before, uh, uh, you know, as a kid going to the library uh, or even in elementary school, the teacher would read us books like this to try and encourage us to read. So this is that type of book. At least it reminded me of that type of book. I think families yeah. can enjoy this together. I think that you can have so I mean, it's, it's, I think one reason it's a great gift is that you can do it with your kids and everybody's laughing. Do I have to say hello? Aunt Delia's Manners Quiz is the name of the book. We've been talking with uh, Delia Efron. And, uh, available everywhere, I guess. Blue Rider Press. Do you have a website you want to direct people? to Delia people can get more information oh DeliaEffron.com you can go there that's easy or you can go to any you know any sort of bookstore or, or Amazon or wherever well Delia pleasure talking to you I know you're on a, a busy schedule with, with everything you do but uh, hopefully you can talk again thanks for joining us today thank you I had such a good time thanks for having me I'm Stan Brock 30 years ago I formed remote area medical to help people overseas but then we found generations of families in America isolated by poverty from the health care they need. Together, we can take dental, vision, and medical help to a million adults and their kids right here at home in the United States of America. If you'd like to order the book we're talking about, please go to DougMilesMedia.com and enter the author's name in the Amazon search box. Thank you for listening. Please come back soon for more conversations here at DougMilesMedia.com. This has been a presentation of Doug Miles Media, all rights reserved.
You can listen to or download previous programs at iTunes, Stitcher.com, or Doug Miles Media.